CBS Atlanta News presents Public Affairs on Peach. It's one of Atlanta's hidden gems, the Sweet Auburn Curb Market. USA Today ranked it the 16th best market in the world. Good Sunday morning to you. I'm Adam Murphy, consumer investigative reporter for CBS Atlanta News. The Sweet Auburn Market offers an array of goods and services, but many people living in the metro Atlanta area don't even know about it or haven't been there. So joining me this morning is somebody very special from the market, right? This is Mary Elizabeth Harmon, or we like to call her Mimi, right? Thank That's you for being right. on the program. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. So good morning, Mimi. Talk to me a little bit about the curb market. Like we said, people haven't been there or they haven't heard about it, but it's like this gym for Atlanta. What makes it so special? What makes it very special is the family friendliness and high energy of the place. Also the diversity of personalities and offerings you'll find under one roof. So whether people are looking to get a prescription filled, to buy a book, buy a prepared lunch, a snack, or uh, get fresh f produce and meats to prepare their own meals, the curb market is a place to, uh, to visit. In addition to that, if you look a little below the surface, you'll find that the curb market, in addition to being a food destination, is really a place about growing small businesses in addition to providing different programs that serve the community. So there's a lot going on at the curb market. And, and what are some of the things at the market that people just can't pass up when they go? Well, the first thing, you can't pass up a hug from Miss D, who is our New Orleans style candy uh, merchant <laughs> at the market. But other than that, there are so many things there. So later in the show, we'll learn from Nikki, who sells craft ice cream, so that's something that people definitely can't pass up at the market. We have Destin Organics that sells organic produce, so a very wide variety of things. Yeah, I'm looking at this basket we have here. Thank you so much for You're giving welcome. us a beautiful prop. Uh, we see the t-shirt, but what are some of the goodies inside this basket? So here yeah. we have, like I said, an organic pumpkin from Destin Organics. In addition, we have some uh, Let's see, this is the caramel popcorn from Miss D, who I mentioned, who is our New Orleans style candy merchant. I want one we, of these right here. Okay, so that's one of her famous <laughs> pralines. I've been educated that it's pronounced pralines in New Orleans, so that's what we're going to call it today. <laughs> and in addition to that, we have one of our lovely t shirts with a logo, so. Very neat looking t shirt as well. So you Thank can get you. all kinds of things there. I understand the market is also working on some pretty progressive food programs with Georgia State University and Grady Hospital. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah, definitely. So we are really trying to support people to make healthier food choices. And so we have a number of initiatives that are ongoing and some newer things that we're working on. One of the things that preceded me was a composting program with Truly Living Well, which is an urban farm that grows organic produce for the community. You mentioned Georgia State University. We're working with them now to see if we can get some vendors to sell produce on campus so that it'll be more readily available for their staff and students. In addition to that, we are working with Grady Hospital and Project Open Hand, which is a long-standing nonprofit here in Atlanta that assists people with chronic disease to make um, medically appropriate food choices. Great. So we are bringing f cooking demonstrations to the market so that we have people from Grady Hospital and Project Open Hand to teach them how to make healthier meals. And we are also, something that just came up that's very exciting, is we're working with the Wholesome Wave program, which is a program whereby people can double their EBT, or formerly called food stamp dollars. Mm -hmm. And so they'll be able to buy produce directly from the farmer. So that's something that we're working on for next year, and we're very excited about that program. And so what are the hours? If one wants to come down during the week or the weekend, do the hours vary? No, the market is open from 8 to 6, Monday through Saturday. So you will find us there six days a week. And so uh, when you come down there, uh, give us a flavor, a feel, for what it's like. If, yeah. if you haven't been there before, why is this such a unique experience? Yeah, well, like I mentioned earlier, it's a very family-friendly place. So if you would like to bring your children just to take in the sights and the sounds and the smells, most importantly, of the market, <laughs> um, if you just kind of want to come and visit. But there's also lots of food choices, so you can get your ice cream, you can get your hot dogs and hamburgers, so it's a really fun day for children. But in addition to that, you, you will see lots of fresh fruits, produce, and... Uh, well, you know, and our city doesn't have anything like this. I mean, this is one of a kind. I mean, maybe bigger metropolitan areas have markets and so forth. That's right. But not Atlanta. So this is special for Atlanta to have something like this. And for those that, you know, are in town or even out that come in, 
um, and those Georgia State students, I can easily walk to it too, right? That's I mean, it's right. It's easy to access the market, which is great. That's right. Because like you mentioned, in an area where it's um, pretty devoid of other shopping opportunities for people who want to buy fresh fruits and produce and meats and things like that. So it is, in that respect, really providing a service to the community to allow people access to food. Uh, one thing I want to ask you, why would someone go out of their way to mm -hmm. come to the market? I mean, is there something there that's different? Well, I think a lot of it for me is the history of the market. So that in of itself, for me, I find very interesting. It's one of the only city markets that was actually conceived as a market. The doors have been open since 1924. It's been operating continuously since that time, which is something that a lot of markets can't really claim. So. If you're a history buff, that might be one yeah. reason why you'd like to come down and see the building. It's the original construction from 1924. But in addition to that, um, we get a lot of calls, for example, for whole hogs. So <laughs> if that's something you'd like to buy, you can certainly come down to the market for that. So it, it's just a really fun place to, co to come, very high energy, a lot of personalities, and that's, that's why I love being there. And Thanksgiving's coming up. Thanksgiving is I coming up. I know you have stuff for us for Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is coming up. I will <laughs> tell you that right now there is a chopping frenzy going on at the market. So a lot of people like to have their potatoes and things pre-chopped, and you can come get that. Mimi Harmon, thank you so much thank for you, joining thank us. Thank you, thank you. That's great. I hope folks do check it out if they haven't been there. Now, if you'd like to visit the Curb Market, it's at 209 Edgewood Avenue in the city of Atlanta. That's on the corner of Jesse Hill Drive. You can also find more information by logging on to the website, thecurbmarket.com. That's great stuff. And coming up, the Curb Market is part of a major push to revitalize that area. We'll talk more about that coming up after the break.